spicy. Spicy. Ugh. It just cleared my sinuses. <laughs> Good afternoon everyone, this is David Hoffman from David's Been here in beautiful Bangalore, Karnataka, India. I'm here with my friend Anashwara. Yeah. And today we're gonna explore some of the must-see sites like the Bangalore Fort behind us. We're gonna go see a palace. And then we're gonna go have lunch at an amazing restaurant. We're gonna have some non-veg dishes. Tell me a little bit about that restaurant. Okay, so this place is called Shivaji Military Hotel. And it's been here for quite a long time. And it's extremely famous in Bangalore for all the non-veg dishes it has to offer. Like the biryani and like the starters and all of that. Chicken, mutton, you name it, they have everything. Mutton? Yeah. Oh. It's great. I love modern. Okay, fantastic. Let's go start exploring Bangalore. Okay, so this fort is dates back to 1537 when it was built by Kempe Gorda. And it was when it was built, it was a mud fort. And now it's made out of granite walls. It's uh, only one part of the fort still remains today, which is the part we're going to right now. As we walk into the fort, you can see these huge two wooden doors. They're massive. This is basically around a foot, foot and a half in width. They're super tall, easily like 30 feet in height. And at the top, there's spikes, so you can't get through here. Wow, this is really impressive. I haven't seen doors like this in my life. In front of us, we have a small house. And this looks like a small temple. As you can see, right at the bottom of the steps, we have like a little, I think this is like a small, what is that? Statue of Nandi. A statue of Nandi? Who's Nandi? It's it's the bull. The bull? Yeah, it's, okay. It's an ancient character that's you know, from mythology, I guess. I'm not too good with this. Okay. Yeah, it's quite, it's there outside most of the temples. Okay, so obviously so it's a temple. A temple. Yeah. Beautiful. So right at the entrance, we have this like small doorway. And as you can see, right here we have like some carvings. This looks like an owl carved out. And then as you can see, it's beautiful. Look at all these different uh, designs here. I think this is actually an elephant, right? Is that an elephant? Like. Well, the eye right there, but then it has wings and it has a tail. So it's a mix of like three animals. Pretty cool. As you walk through the fortress, you can see these massive walls and these pieces of stone. I mean, look at this. There's easily like just one block right here. Just giant, humongous. And uh, I mean, that's it, right? I mean, it's very, very small in terms of what you can see. You can just yeah. go in, see the walls. Yeah, and you can just walk around the garden and you know, it's it's quite peaceful for where it is located in the city. Yeah, you can barely hear anybody yeah, outside. But that's the cool part, right? Yeah. And don't you think the temperature is like five degrees cooler oh, in here? Yeah, in the shade. Yeah, <laughs> in the shade, obviously. And one thing that's really cool about this is, is it's a free entrance. Yeah. So that's something very different. I mean, most places around the world, when you go to a fortress or a castle, it always costs money, yeah. but here it's free. It's free yeah. And yeah, I mean, that's it. Let's go see the palace. Yeah, let's go. As soon as we exited the fort, as you can see, there's a lot of people. There's a guy selling cotton candy. Right here we have some guys selling sugarcane water. I love this, this is the best. This really is the best. You want some? Yeah, yeah let's get some. Okay, so to beat the heat here, we got some sugarcane juice. It's super sugary, obviously, sugarcane. We got some lime in it, and he makes it really cold because he puts his huge ice cubes. Oh, this is gonna be the best thing to beat the heat right now. I just showed that whole thing really fast. <laughs> it's so good, it's so hot. Now, let's go to the palace. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. How was it, bro? Good? It was amazing. The most refreshing thing you can have. Hands down. We've arrived to the Tipo Sultan's Summer Palace. It was built in the year 1791. And, and tell me some more about it. Yeah, so it's a good example of Indo-Islamic architecture. Okay. And it was built by Tipu Sultan himself. So it was his summer resting place. Yeah, I think it was built in 1791. Yeah, 1791. Let's go inside. Let's go inside. See the good. Ooh, it's very good. It's a look very good palace. So to see that and take a photo shoot and nice picture. Hello. Oh, thank you so much. We're walking through the palace and as you can see, we're entering a terrace, huge like 25 foot terrace. There's two levels on the top. There's like a hall that connects both sides, which is connected by two stairways. And on the bottom there's multiple rooms. The terraces are full of arches and they're completely symmetrical. So yeah, and on from the viewing gallery, you can see these huge gardens 
Yeah. I would my, say. My favorite part was actually the second level. There's some beautiful terraces that you can look out. You get numerous different vantage points. And then once you're done doing that, let's take a wander around the gardens. It's quite peaceful. There's actually not many people exploring that area. Yeah. It's the less touristy part of the palace. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Okay, so pricing for the palace, it's a, it's a little unfair, okay? So for foreigners, 300 yeah. each, 25 for locals. Yeah, yeah so that's 12, sad. That's sad. Only, only 12 times more. 12 times. <laughs> <laughs> and, if, and if you're looking for like photos, definitely try to get the arches. It's really nice having like multiple arches in one like path mm -hmm. or one like straight view. Yeah. Um, and then besides that, lots of light outside, almost no light inside. So definitely bring a lens that you can capture in low light. And yeah, I think we're good. I think we're gonna go to lunch yeah. now. Yeah. Or do we go explore another track? I've worked up an appetite. Did you? Yeah. I'm still full. I ate too much. <laughs> oh my gosh. Maybe another chai? I'm, I'm, I'm a bottomless pit. <laughs> <laughs> Is there chai around here, chai? Yeah, probably. Okay, after a 20 minute Uber ride through the back streets of Bangalore, we're finally here at the restaurant and luckily for us there's no queue because usually this restaurant is extremely packed. So what are we going to eat? Yeah, I guess we'll have some biryani and some nice chicken starters as well. Let's go explore and see what they have to do. Okay, so the way it works here is that you get inside and the queue is not really a queue. It's like you stand around tables and you wait for people to like get up, right? And, yeah. then, so and then run to your seat. And then run in to the seat. So you have to be very strategic where you stand. <laughs> You have to be very strategic where you stand and as you can see everybody has banana leaves and the way it works here in southern India is you have banana leaf and then you pour the rice and you pour the curries on top, right? Awesome, I can't wait to use my hands, gotta wash them good. Yeah. With your four bottles of <laughs> There's no system so as soon as someone gets up, you go for it. It's like attack. Yeah. After, after standing around for like 25 minutes waiting for a table to open up, we finally got one and we jumped on. We still have this gentleman here but it's cool, he's our friend. And what we're gonna do now is we have the leaf, right? So as soon as you get the leaf, you get some water, pour some water on top. Okay? And what the water does is it basically cleans the leaf. So I just clean the leaf. I already cleaned my hands, but now I'm cleaning the leaf. Right? And then, right, clean it off. Like that. Oh, like that, my friend, like that. Nice. Wow, what a feast we have here. This is probably my favorite Southern Indian lunch of all time look at this i mean we're eating it on top of banana leaf we're eating it with our hands that is a traditional way here in southern india we have one two three four five six seven eight things right yeah yeah eight things okay so here we have mutton biryani we have ghee rice we have chicken biryani we have a cucumber salad right here we have chicken fry mutton dry chili chicken and then we have some liver the liver looks amazing and the sauce is like so rich I want to show you the sauce, how rich it is. Look at this, just like, just like, wow. Woo, you can drink it. No, I won't do that now. I'll wait a sec for that. So the way you do it is you just grab one, start breaking up, mix it with the biryani, and then you put it like this, and you go like that with your thumb, right? So I'm going to go with my favorite thing of all time, which is mutton biryani. All right, I'm just going to go, oh my god, look at that. Big portion here. Ready? Oh wow, mmm, the spices, huge chunks of butter, so tender. Sorry, I'm trying to talk to you, my mouth is so full. I'm just blown away by this. Oh, I'm gonna now, I'm gonna get some of the, some liver right here. I'm just gonna eat the liver alone. Oh yeah. Light sauce, mmm, super buttery liver, like you literally just bite into it and it falls apart. But I'm gonna get some of the delicious sauce from the liver, mix it with the biryani, that's what you're supposed to do, right? Mix the sauces with the rice, like that. Oh, wow. Mmm, it's like a minty, earthy chutney. I don't know how to explain it that well, but I'm in love with it. I just love getting messy eating Southern Indian food. It's so amazing. Over here we have mud and dry. Oh my god, this mud is unreal. Mmm. Mmm. Look at the fat. Mmm. What's the best part? Mud and fat? Mmm. You just suck it off the bone. Mmm. Chicken dry right here. Look, at these, look how red this is. Like, you can tell this is super hot. It's so red. What you're supposed to do is you're supposed to mix this with the rice. But I'm gonna have it alone first. 
Oh my god, you know that pink piece of bone? Spicy. Spicy. Oh, it just cleared my sinuses. <laughs> oh wow. Oh wow. Super spicy. Mm. Well, always delicious. And what's next? Oh, we, we forgot the chicken chili right here. Chicken chili. That's gonna be super hot. Super hot? Yeah. You think so? Yeah. Okay. So I got some of this red sauce, super spicy. So here we go. Oh. You got chunks of chicken biryani in there. Mmm. It's super spicy. It's so good. It has like a, not an earthy, but a little bit of nutty in it. The red one with the, yeah. with the ghee rice. Yeah. That's what you think I should do? Yeah. Okay. Oh my god, it's getting soaked up in it. It's like absorbing it all like a sponge. Oh wow. That is so buttery, it's ridiculous. Uh, I mean, it basically feels like I'm having a, like a big piece of butter with rice in it. Yeah. Not rice, but butter. It's so crazy. Ooh. It's like too hot. Do I have some of the cucumber to like yeah. calm it down? Yeah, have the cucumber gravy to calm it down. And maybe you can have some of the plain ghee rice as well to calm it down. That's good, it's very milky. Yeah. Gravy with biryani we put on top. Is that good? Yep. Right there. Mix it up. Mix it up. Wow. Oh. It's just so fun. <laughs> Such a fun way to eat. Mm, it's a nice chutney. Very light. Full of spices, a lot of pepper. Oh. So cool. what's your favorite one among all of this? Favorite among, I mean, I love the liver. Okay. So I just love liver. Liver is always the same everywhere, but here with the curry, just gives it a whole different world of flavors. I mean, oh, it, I don't know what's hot now, like what hit me, but I am it's like on fire. Chicken. Yeah, it is a chicken. The chicken's pretty good though, you just break it up. I didn't really have too much chicken here, but look, we have a piece of bone here. Mm. Oh, this all around amazing meal. So many flavors. Like if you're non-veg, like if you're not a vegetarian, you're a non-veg eater, you will love this. It's really an experience coming here and trying to sit down, which is a mission. It really is a mission. Yeah. We waited for like 25 plus minutes. We jumped on the table, we sat down. They gave us basically everything they had available, which was eight different items. Yeah. My favorite thing was for sure the liver, but I love the mud and very tender. And just the whole experience is something you have to do when you come to India. So come down to South India, come to Bangalore, come to this restaurant. How do you say the restaurant name? Shivaji Military Hotel. Shivaji, so is it a hotel as well? Yeah, it's a hotel. Okay, so it's a hotel as well, but obviously this is the restaurant. And what time is it open? It's open only from 12 to 3 in the afternoon and for dinner from 7. So I suggest you get here around 10.30 and wait in line. <laughs> yeah. Right? That's how it is in Bangalore. I mean, everything is like a waiting game because yeah. of the, the hot spots, like where locals go, everybody goes. Obviously, how many people are here? Like, I don't know, five, six million people in the city. It's crazy. But yeah, guys, if you love this video, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment below, subscribe to my channel, Sam's channel, and follow her on Instagram. And we'll see you on the next travel adventure in Incredible India. Now, let me get some more of this food. Mm.